he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess. But Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like, from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma? Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. see James. Just monsters. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey! Over here! AJ! 
There are too many of them. The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Are you okay? Yeah, no bites. You kill the ones you have to. I can't blame you for that. Not really. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. safe. Just a little further. What's this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Or maybe it's actually good, like chips. Those are salty, right? Like the snack bag in the car. Go ahead, lick it if you want to. <laughs> <coughs> oh, gross. It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, they're just lost. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? 
Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I... Yes. I'll always protect you. I know you will. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. I will. Don't let fear take over. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. Her kiddo. It's all right. I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace, any different at all? Yeah, I do. They're still just monsters. Dangerous things that want to kill us. That's what I thought you would say. It's what I would have said, too, once. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? But I was justified. 
I see. <sighs> That's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are peaceful. H humans... My friends are alive, not kind of or maybe alive. They're trapped and they're afraid. They need my help. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And even if your friends think like you, no one deserves that. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. before it's too dark. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot in Annie before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. What the hell is a hoot nanny? <laughs> it's just another way of saying party. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wouldn't make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. Clem, come see. Okay, be right there. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing.
There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them, like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I wish what we did felt good. Part of me wants to like it. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> is that right? Yes because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. AJ, we've talked about this a lot. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. I don't want to talk about this anymore. But you brought it up, so we're going to. It does something weird to my stomach, like I'm going to get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't wanna be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not that we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? James said a lot of things about the monsters. And most of it was crazy pants, AJ. So you don't think I would be inside my monster self? There is no monster self, kiddo. Nothing that makes you, you would be in there. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. We can still save Minnie. If we brought her back, we could... You saw how she reacted when Lily showed up. Those are her people now, and we are not. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I... have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ. 
or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Oh, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it, he says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim. We'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. <gasps> Stars? So you never forget that night? I never will. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? <laughs> nope. Do you wanna? Just us. No one else around. I mean, I know it's kind of weird, but it's something I've always wanted to try. Thanks for the dance. Yeah, we're getting better at being romantic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! You're terrible. Hey! I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but... Purple might be nice. 
Rem gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. Purple. <laughs> really? What? I like purple. Shouldn't you like it too, Violet? I'll make it happen. So you take one of those black things that look like plates, and you pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so you could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. You guys have any classical? You bet. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. Just trying to instill some confidence, you know? AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. I promise not to swear all over it. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Uh, is it me, or is there a bit of a bomb obsession at this school? Oh, it's not you. There totally is. But for good reason! The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me. This'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody. Get ready to boogie. And, um... Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I found them! Okay, Clementine. 
These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. You know what, Ruby? I bet you're reading your own file. <laughs> Whoa! How'd you guess that? <laughs> I'm impressed. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh, you ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. You used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. Trust me. Nobody wanted to know that. What does that mean? Ah, uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway... Maybe we should change up the music? Oh, I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar? Aaron, yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons, since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume. You know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And, uh, Use that to push the trigger in. 
So yeah, bang, right? Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like, what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry, this is supposed to be fun. I'm, I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. He liked that one. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, I, uh, I can do that. Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Wow. 
Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask, how's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it? He'd be hard, too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. AJ's amazingly. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. You'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am?
Wow. Just look at you. <laughs> Just look at you. <laughs> Thought I told you to keep this short. Um, you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days. <laughs> Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Goodbye, Lee. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey... Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Maybe one day you'll be the same. Listen, Clementine. I need to talk to you about AJ. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when I... Another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack. I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. That was enough of a reason for me. That's... that's kind of hard to believe doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore, but it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. 
No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself, when he said it was the right thing to do. Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ted, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. <sighs> See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Please, I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or a Sim. Omar. I... I, I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me, I can't lose you too. I won't. You better not disappear on me, okay? I promise. <laughs> what are you doing? Look in another direction. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. Get my back, 